Children and imaginary friends make a great pair. A study by American psychologist Dr. Lawrence Kutner in the mid 2000s found that as many as 65 percent of seven-year-olds had an imaginary friend. A similar study in the UK found that 17 percent of children aged three to ten have imaginary friends. According to the same study, the peak age for having an imaginary friend is four years old. These and other studies have shown that having imaginary friends can be good for children in many ways. They can help children develop social skills, provide comfort and companionship, and give children greater emotional support. Having imaginary friends can be a sign of intelligence as well, though not all intelligent children will have one. In earlier times. Having imaginary friends was considered a sign of mental illness. However, current studies have shown the opposite to be true. Children with imaginary friends may be more sociable and creative, since they have to imagine discussions from both sides. On top of that, these children may spend less time using electronic devices. Which can affect their ability to imagine things in their minds if used too much. It is important, therefore, that children have the chance to let their imaginations run wild and have fun with their imaginary friends.